Well, what are you waiting for? I don't know. Something amazing, I guess. The Incredibles is known for being an amazing couple of films with some amazing powers you would love to have. But along with great power comes great mistakes. Here's some you might have missed. Number one. While Jason Lee is brilliant as the voice actor for Syndrome, Syndrome is not as brilliant as he appears. You see, Syndrome has made his life all about following around Mr. Incredible for revenge. But despite knowing his home phone and how to send him an exploding message, he doesn't know he lives with and has a full family? You married Elastigirl? <laughs> and got busy! Number two. While Dash isn't the wisest kid in the world, no child who's capable of running on water would forget they can do that. In the first film, there is a perfectly hilarious moment of Dash discovering he can run on water. But in the second film, he has no idea how to pursue the villain's boat. Come on, Dash, we know you can do it. Number three. We don't want to only rag on Syndrome, but don't some of his plans confuse you? In the first film, after Syndrome captures the entire Parr family, he leaves them alive for seemingly no reason. He was trying to end them before, so it's not like he always wanted them just captured. They are only kept alive so they can foil his plan, really. Number four. Syndrome isn't the only villain with confusing gear. In The Incredibles 2, the screen slaver's devices are goggles and screens that hypnotize people. Helen Parr often just turns away from the screens. So wouldn't the hypnosis of this film have no effect if people just looked away? How about if Helen just closes her eyes when she has the goggles on? Boom, saved. Number five, the family went through so much and in the end, it didn't even matter. Lincoln Park. The whole point of the first film was that the whole family learned they needed each other to avert disaster. And the second movie has the exact same beat at the end, with Helen being proud her kids joined the fight. But we already knew she felt that way. The lesson was learned. How could I be mad? I'm proud. Number six, are you petty? Because we're petty. This mistake is very petty, but can we just say that Evelyn is the most obvious twist villain of any film ever, ever? And it's a mistake because they wanted to surprise us. But no one was surprised. It's a great film, but this was not surprising. She's just sitting there, doing nothing, menacingly. So you're the screen slaver. Yes and no. Number seven, we're not so sure Mr. Incredible is that incredible. In Incredibles 2, apparently Bob is incapable of moving massive objects around when he asks another hero to uncrush these pipes in the boat. We're pretty sure he has a little something called super strength that could do the same thing. Number eight, electric cars are the future, but electric bikes, not so much. In Incredibles 2, Helen's superbike explodes just moments after she said it was an electric one. Now, there are Teslas that have, you know, caught on fire and exploded, but this explosion is just a little too big. It doesn't quite add up. Number 9. Speaking of driving concerns, let's talk about car safety. In the first film, after Helen finds the hair on Bob's suit, she goes to him while he is in the car and says, have a great trip, I love you so much. Bob backs the car out of the driveway. He backs out and turns, but you can see his hand on the top of the steering wheel doesn't move. Number 10, were you allowed to have sugary cereal in the morning? It's not clear if the Parr family is. In Incredibles 2, Dash isn't allowed to have sugary cereal. But if that's the case, why is it open and out in the first place? To tease him? Bob really is a bad parent. Number 11. What does autopilot even do? Apparently not much. In Incredibles 2, Helen pushes autopilot on this plane, even though it's about three seconds from crashing directly into the ocean. I'm not sure what she expected to happen, but she's a good pilot. We know this. Number 12. Time for some more Syndrome Singeing. Syndrome specifically has Bob fight the robot to make it better. But the one way Bob defeated it was by having its own claws tear itself apart. However, this works again at the end of the film. If Syndrome was really working on the robot, and he's a genius who does that kind of thing, wouldn't he have fixed this? Syndrome is maybe not as smart as he leads on. Number 13. Most of the rich people have made some pretty big mistakes in this franchise. Another example is Winston Dever's dad tried to call the superheroes even though they were just famously and publicly banned from being legal to work. He would have been in the loop and so wouldn't have made this mistake logically. Number 14. Violet should have figured this one out sooner. In Incredibles 2, Violet is only suspicious of her parents when she sees her mom's boots. But as you can see, the suits were easy to spot right at the beginning, and much more revealing in what her parents were up to than the boots. Number 15. Cops are supposed to back each other up, right? 
Not this one, apparently. This poor cop from The Incredibles doesn't get any backup from all the other cops around him for the jewelry store until it's too late to stop the thieves from escaping. But he was right there. The cop should have noticed or he should have said something to them. Very strange. Number 16. How fast can you read? If you read fast enough, the newspaper article here would have looked silly to you, as half of it is just the insurance company employee manual from Bob's previous work. Guess the animators just didn't think anyone would check. Whoops. They do it on this side, too. Double whoops. Number 17. We all get carried away, but you think a superhero would take pressure better. In this scene from The Incredibles, Bob cuts through Dash's plate, saying he's got to now fix the table. But you don't have to fix the table, Bob. Just throw out a plate. It's at most a scratch in the table. Number 18. This one is a lesson for all the school principals out there. It seems this principal didn't watch the teacher's incriminating tape before he called Helen in, as only at the end does he think the teacher is crazy. Well, he should have watched the tape first before he called the parents in. Number 19. Shout out to all our cat lovers out there. In the opening scene of The Incredibles, Mr. Incredible is in a rush to stop some bad guys, shaking a cat out of a tree. But if he was in such a rush, why not put the tree down instead of do this? The cat will have had to leave the tree eventually. Number 20. There's no superpower better than the US government. Bob's contact from the agency to relocate superheroes mentions that he needs to erase memories because of what Bob did. But hold the phone. If this guy can erase memories, why do they need to relocate Bob at all? Just erase their memories of him throwing that dork boss through eight walls. Number 21. More issues with Syndrome and his rich but shoddy organization. The first time Mirage contacts Bob, the message self-destructs at the end. But later, she just straight up calls him at his home phone number where literally anyone can answer. Now, based on the logic from before, they somehow don't know he has a family. But then when he screams, I got it, while Mirage is on the line, would she not then say, oh, it seems like he has a family, I better tell my villain boss. Number 22. This isn't impossible, but it's a lot to digest. While Bob tries to sneak into Syndrome HQ, thank goodness Mirage is looking down while walking so she doesn't notice this massive stone being moved in front of her at the same time. Number 23. We've all had our moms get mad at us for something that probably makes no sense, but this is a bit odd. At home, when the kids discover their super suits for the first time, Dash is in trouble while wearing his. Because, as Helen says, someone will see it. But who is going to see it in this private bedroom only the three of them are in? Number 24. Too much sneaking makes Dash a dull boy. When Helen goes after Bob in the first film, the kids stow away on the jet. But how did they arrange a sitter so quickly, follow Helen to the jet, then hide in the jet to make all this happen? We're glad they did it, just seems like a lot to organize. And without Helen noticing any of it so quickly. That was totally wicked! Those were all our favorite mistakes in the incredible films we noticed. Any you noticed that we didn't mention? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe for more animated content. And thanks for watching The Things Animated.